are, are, are we back on now? I, I think so. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, before we get to this MMA match, as we see the former three-time CCO World Champion, Aaron Alexander Ender, uh, we do apologize for the unexpected interruption. Uh, the farm might be, uh, I don't know what happened, guys, but apparently somebody hijacked the uh, broadcast a moment ago. I told everything. Oh, everything's been worked out. Well, I guess we'll move on. Weird situation here because, you know, it ain't like the 80s anymore where people could hijack satellite feeds. you got to have more sophisticated equipment nowadays, but it just, it just kind of goes ahead and tells you, you know, Anything right. can happen on live television, and that's proof positive right there. Speaking of which, we might be witness to an execution now. I, I, I hope we do. match it's probably his job more than like he might be walking into a he might be walking into a hornet's nest right now that's the nice guy yeah because yeah. yeah. look nothing against chris gary the man is a trained he's a trained professional wrestler right. but the guy he's is also a trained pain in the neck but the guy he's facing is a three-time World champion, what the, in the devil is he doing? Well, this is an unsanctioned MMA match, and well, I can't, I can't play Chris Wolf for the hard round. Well, it didn't work though, did it? Oh my god! It's over. Over. Good night. Oh my god. <laughs> this, this is gonna be a slaughter. <laughs> Oh my god. Who had Chris Gary dies at the end of this match? Anybody? Anybody? Uh, maybe not uh, die, but he's gonna wish he was dead. My goodness. I tell you what, I've been doing this I've been doing this for quite for quite some time and I do not remember anybody getting busted open 15 seconds into a match. Yeah, if this were a first blood match, it would have been probably the shortest match in CCL history. Hash Remember, this, this, can only, this can only be won by a submission or knockout. Hashtag. Now, 
Oh, you got to kill me. Oh, my God. Oh, this is great. It's just... It's just it, it, it was going for the spear, and he just trolled me. <laughs> he he got to sound disappointed. Okay. Imagine all of the pain and suffering Chris Gary has put audiences through throughout throughout his career here in, in CCL. Except for more specifically in the last year, but yeah. Exactly. Now he's feeling all the pain that he's put everyone else through. This is just karma. And karma is a bitch when Aaron Alexander is your banker. Oh, I'm, I'm sitting back and enjoying this. I'm hanging the Aaron Alexander flag tonight. I'm sorry. I tell, I, I tell you what, Aaron can end this. Aaron can end this anytime he wants. Oh, this match is over. It, it, it may come back to bite him in the end, but I guarantee you, even if Chris Gary somehow miraculously pulls an inside cradle of a maneuver or something no, like no, that, no, no, no. he's gonna feel no, this pinfall. tomorrow. No pinfall, dude. Can't win my pinfall. Yeah. Now he's got. He's got, he's got <laughs> now he has a pair of folding chairs to play with. He's got. Yeah, he's got to win it via submission or knockout, you know, like a regular MMA match. And he's tied it up to the tree of woe. <laughs> oh, wait oh. a Oh, no. no. Oh. But it didn't matter in the end, now, did it, Chris? Uh, oh, yeah. I was about to suggest this. Oh, my God. I think it's time to retire. Oh! Oh my God! He crushed on his ass with that spear. Wow. He's got my hand and knocked back to the belt. Or maybe, or perhaps he may have been instructed to knock back to the belt. Maybe. I, I, I don't want to think that, but... Yeah. I mean, he may, he may be on the orders from Xavier Mitchell not to, you know, not to... Call this thing off before absolutely necessary. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Okay. I like where this is going. I think we're gonna. Have, I think he's gonna play a concerto. Oh, oh, my, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. In the face. As our friend uh, the champ would say. Yes. He is, if I may use some colorful language here, he is handling Chris Gary like a $2 hoe. Uh, is he not? He most certainly is. Uh oh, he's thinking of something. Oh boy. This, this looks like it was fun. Oh my god! steel barricades and now you learn why when I go to a wrestling show I don't like to get front row seats oh now here's the thing AJ Monahan I mean you can win MMA matches by referee stoppage I'm shocked right. he hasn't stopped the match I, mean, I know there may be some dollars having to changed hands from Xavier Mitchell, but I mean, that guy show a little respect. I guess not, huh? <laughs> I, right, I, I think he may. I think he may have been on orders to not stop this for any reason whatsoever, unless one of these two submit. Gary's yeah. not got an ounce of offense in this no, match. No, he hasn't. I'm about to say that we're matching the. Oh, oh, oh elevation. Sorry, it's an elevation neck breaker. The the similarities between this match and Ryan Sparks' demise was are quite similar. Mm -hmm. 
Dang Skippy. We can see another another spear. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, good to stay away. Enough's enough. Yeah, I'm starting to agree with you there. This it started off as fun, but you know, it, he he's, he can fight back at this point. Yeah, this uh, is this, this is this is kind of the point of parody. Has come full circle. It's time to put Chris away. Now, this is uh, this is now to the point of parody. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to say I'm starting to. Although I'm still want Aaron Alexander to win this match, and that probably won't change. But it is time to end it. Yeah. Chris Gary does still have a career as lame as it might be. As, as much he still has a career such that it is. Yes. Yeah. That would hit the rub out and now look and now look at this. This is that come on now. Oh my god! <laughs> Give him a DDT under the ring apron, which, as we all know, is the hardest and stiffest part of a wrestling ring. This game will defend itself here. Come on. So, come on, my hands. Well, wait a minute. Someone's, someone's help. Someone's coming to the crowd, I think. What the devil's going on? Yeah. Someone's coming to the. Can we get back in the ring already? Uh, it's in the house! Oh my Nathan God. House! Go. Nathan House! Nathan House, and I think he has seen enough too. I think you're right. I mean, look. Hate Chris Gary all you want to. This became a slaughter at this point. It, it did. It did. Like I said, it was time for him to end it. And there was no reason for him not to end it. He was just trying to flex his muscle a little bit. Lord knows he's got a lot of them. Right. Yeah. Oh, man, that's the STO. Now he's going to pay for it. He should have put Chris away, and that's probably going to end up costing him this match. As if Chris can even mount an offense. I don't but see that. I, I tell you what, at the, at the very least, he's got a chance now. Thanks to Nathan House. Yeah. He, he ought to put Nathan House on his Christmas card list. <laughs> but, has it, but the question is, has it brought Chris back into this match, or has it only delayed his execution, if you will? I guess we're about to find out. Yeah, the question is, yeah, you're right. Has it only forestalled the inevitable? Gary, a bloody mess here. Now trying to mount some offense against the three-time world heavyweight champion. All right, clothesline. Chris somehow still able to stand after all that punishment. I, 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 that in and of itself is amazing. Absolutely. He proved himself to be a determinator. Oh my goodness! Uh, single leg crab. I don't. I don't believe this. I don't believe what we're seeing. If he gets a tap out here, I, I would be stunned. Oh, oh my god. god! Wow, guys, we are never gonna hear the end of this. Oh, ever. Forget Villanova at the 85 NCAA's. Forget about Cassius Clay against Sonny Liston. This might be the biggest upset I've ever witnessed. Put Cassius Clay against Sonny Liston as an upset? Well, Clay over Liston. Hmm. Intriguing. Nonetheless, though, you are right. There's a huge upset. And you are also going to be right. Because it's like... If heaven forbid Joseph Matos won a match, if you want to change it, we are never going to hear the end of this. We're, we're not going to hear the end of this. Well, we are, but guess what? Chris has got, he's got what he wants. He's got himself a match against Sushi X. And it's great to the sound, guys. You're right.
Well, the time for talk is over. When we come back. So, not yet. Not yet. Let's do it. Woo. Sorry, guys. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> I don't think it's over yet. It's coming. It's coming to you. That's why I'm He did some crap. They, they, there's okay. They had a contract match, right? Uh huh. So now they're not here. It's forfeit. Uh Silectra, uh, by definition, is your new Divas champion, tag team champions again. I, I wish that were the case, Doc, but the old champ, Tyler's gonna only change hands by a pinfall. Hey, how y'all oh. doing, man? I, I come back, I, I come back hey. out here. What the fuck did I just see? Oh, I tell you what, this this night is just it, it, it was going great, and then all of a sudden, the Odeon Revolution 
takes the wimp's way out right there. And that's just what happened. That is ridiculous. Yeah, I know another oh. weapon back there licking his wounds. <laughs> Uh, Congratulations uh, uh, on, your, on your win over TRT earlier, champ. You're welcome. Hey, TRT, <laughs> how you feeling now, you little bitch? <laughs> and look, now I'm back out here to suit. How you like me now? In all seriousness, this is what we came here for tonight. Damn right. I've been looking forward to this one. is to see how it's going to turn out because you know this match should not I, I honestly feel that the criminal activities of CJ Wizard this match should not be taking place I, I feel that this is rewarding criminal behavior I'm, I am looking forward to this match though for one reason and I just said it is to see what the great D is able to do against CJ Wizard I am not opposed to these two fighting each other I am opposed to this being a title match because I feel that it is a reward for CJ Wizard. Yeah, but on the flip side, this could be a way for Great D to put CJ Wizard in place and show him that he's not worthy to be the damn champ. Take it this chance, and I made this point when, when Brian was here earlier. He had to catch a flight. Uh, we do want to uh, we, we want to wish him safe travels, of course. But picture the scenario, okay? This title doesn't even have to change hands. I'll continue my thought here in just a moment. Four months ago, when CJ Wizards returned, he had two goals in mind. To take out Gregory Black, the man that put him out of action for nearly two years, and to win the World Heavyweight title. He accomplished the first mission back at Crossroads in April. Second part of his mission, coming up in a matter of moments. Now, Picture this scenario, champ, and this is how I laid it out for, for Brian and for Eddie. CJ has been bent on hurting people lately with what he did to Gregory Black, with what he's been doing around the back of the locker room to others. Picture this. He does not have to win the title tonight in order to win or lose this match in quotes, okay? He could put all the hurting he wants to on the great D, unfortunately and just end his career tonight via violence or any other means, and he doesn't even care, it, and the title will switch hands. Well, that thought gets Chris with the introduction. Introducing first, the challenger. From Brooklyn, New York, six, 65 inches tall, weighing 258 pounds, he is the first ever CCL national champion, a two-time CCL champion. The number championship of the world. This is 
the main event of Adrenaline 69. The World Heavyweight Championship on the line. The great D, the champion. Phenomenal CJ wins the challenge. So the nightmare scenario here is that Wizard is not even focused on winning the championship in, in, in theory, maybe. The nightmare scenario is here, he puts a great amount of hurt on the great D just to end the champion, or just to, just to hurt him. And CCL is left without their champion. And don't, before you say that's ridiculous and can't happen, I focus you, I focus your attention to one Mr. Gregory Black. Oh no, I wasn't gonna say that was ridiculous. Oh, no, I that, know it's that. possible. I know it's possible. I wouldn't say it's ridiculous, but at the same time, I wouldn't count uh Gregory I wouldn't count the Great D short. You wouldn't count oh, Gregory Black not. short and he did and he got hurt. But Great D, I mean, Great D is definitely one of those guys that is so resilient and just it takes a lot to beat him down to that point. My my focus isn't on what the Great D can and can't do. My focus is on what CJ Wizard has been doing. Yeah, right now CJ Wizard is standing his monkey ass outside. And I realize <laughs> this isn't a mega event with me. He has to get his ass back in the ring. <laughs> He's brought back <laughs> in the hard way. Two and no. Great yeah, so D going on the offense here. Because CRT learned the hard way earlier not to fuck with certain people around here. <laughs> What he called me? He's trying to call me a has been. Are you kidding no, me? No, I I heard him in the back. He called you a never was. <laughs> so his, that ass was that I gave earlier was for all of us. Not just me. It was for all of us. I heard what he said about you, Doc. I heard what he said about you, Eddie. You already know what he said about my family. And he already pissed off Armageddon. He's the wrong person you want to piss off. <laughs> so, so I did that for all y'all. So you guys, you're welcome. Now look at the great D getting the upper hand on the challenger, which is what he has to do in this match. I'm sitting there like, does he, the, the TRT even think? Because what Eddie Mack is one of the, Eddie, you, oh, nice bulldog on the CJ Wizard. Eddie, you're one of the prominent voices in CCL, in, in all of CAW, and your voice well, is far from fading. Well, thank you very much, Doc. I, I, I really do appreciate it. Oh, oh, geez, geez. It was a good. Hey, Doc, Hey Doc, how's your back though? I didn't get a chance to ask you yeah, earlier, yeah. dude. My, it, it's fine, it's fine. It's a, it's a little sore. Thank you for asking. It is a little sore, but uh, like like I said, there, there's going to be casualties in any war. Nice boot to the face. <laughs> I will say that was a very well executed boot to the face. No, it, it's that? a fucking head kick there. Yeah. Right. You're, you're always going to have a casualty here and there in war, and it is a war. What we're involved with with the Brotherhood. So, you know, it, that was one of their shots being fired. Like I said in my promo, I don't blame him for what he did, but he better be prepared for what's going to happen next. I know that's right. And again, a boot by Wizard. Yeah, Wizard showing his aggressiveness here, even though he's outweighed by only about uh, just about 20 pounds to the great D. He's actually right. walking and oh. fighting like he's bigger than him. Off the hip toss and beautiful. I'm gonna tell you something. I used to spend many a days in Brooklyn, New York. I had a grandmother that lived up there until she um, had to move down with us in DC in 2000. Them folk up in Brooklyn, man, they are some very, very nasty people up there, man, when it comes to fighting. And a nice shoulder tackle there by Wizard going at the one side. That's unusual for him, I would suppose, but I would, only gets two guns. Yeah, man. I mean, he's what, like 6'4", 6'5"? 6'5", 260 pounds. Right. About, I think his official weight was 256, whereas right. the great D is 276. But, I mean, I, it, it is rare for CJ to go up to the top row. Great D does it all the time, especially with the great elbow being 6'7", 276. So, I mean, you see a lot of that nowadays with men over 6'5 and over 250 that'll, that'll fly off the top rope and be effective. Right. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. I mean, both of these guys are very big, very athletic men. Uh, where CJ Wizard has a mean streak in him. Just, he just wants to hurt people. And, and it, it's one of those things that it makes you concerned for others' well-being and what he might be able to do to the athleticism of, of Great D. Great D could come out of this match 
just like we've seen recently in CCL, several people's careers have been shortened, and I just hope that that doesn't happen here with the Great D. I will say this though, CJ Wizard, for being for someone who has been out of this uh, out of action for nearly 24 months, and he's only had maybe two. This is only his third full match since he's been back. Maybe his fourth. And he looks like he's been doing it day in and day out the last year. And I can tell you, being out of the ring for even a few months, you come back in that ring rush and you have right. that initial yeah, soreness of hitting the mat and the rope. And it takes you a couple matches to get in the groove. This seems like he never lost his groove. And that's a scare, especially with that mean freak, that is a scary thought. Yeah. It is. Was just trying to sit on that Boston trap, but the great D using his lower body strength to get to the rope, and he does. Heavyweight Championship of the world is on the line. Got to cover him. And sure. But as this is not a mega event, CJ Wizard absolutely has to beat the great D by pinfall submission to get the. To get the title off, Great D does not have to beat CJ Wizard necessarily to keep the title. There's that rare championship advantage that you, <laughs> that you rarely see in the CCL because most times when championships are defended, they're on mega events where the champion does not have that particular advantage. 100% advantage. Wizard was trying for that boot again, I think, but Great D is stepped ahead there. Oh, this time the boot is short. Oh, he's just beating right in his dome piece. <laughs> uh oh, he's low. You gotta think he's low enough for that clothesline, oh, or not? I thought he might have been rolling him up for that clothesline from hell. Yeah. I think the great, I think the great beat thought so too, and he was not ready for that. Palm handle slam, two, oh, no. two. By I mean, Wizard, this is wasting time though. I mean, that's one of the things about him and his new attitude is that he wasted, he's wasting time and against a guy like the Great D, you don't want to do that. No, you can't. You cannot waste time, especially with the heavyweight. Oh, the heavyweight title on the, on the line. I mean, if you guys think about this, if Wizard doesn't get it done. He's probably not going to get another shot for a while, in theory, right? I, I don't see how he's getting a shot now, so I have to agree with that. Yeah, I don't think he'll get another shot for a very long time, unless he used that ministry to take out every viable challenger there is in the CCL at which point. It'll only leave him left to be a challenger. And I think he's capable of doing it. Keep his black ass away from me. Oh! <laughs> You're gonna get your fucking head kicked off. Wow. What? Right out there in front of us, too, guys. Okay, keep this big black ass away from me. That swing neck breaker on the floor. You might want to get his ass back in the ring. Yeah, he can't. He, even though he has the 20 count to get back in, he cannot win it out there. Oh! His knees hit the steps. Yep, so he got chop blocked by one. He got chop blocked in his left leg, and his right leg hit the step. And he got uh -oh. outside, but that hurt. Pump handle slam! Oh. Good night on the concrete. Where's the I, I, get, I give Where's the credit, though I hate you. He is taking full advantage of that 20 count. Is he ever? Back in the rain. Oh! There it is! Fierce. Close. Close. Live from hell, and he has got it if he can make it up. And he's wasted time trying to placate to this crowd who just hates his gut. Latest something no! That was Hip toss by three Kick, kick. Another kick. Great D trying to get some momentum, and CJ Wizard escapes from the outside. If Wizard would have went for the cover immediately, I think he would have had a new champion. 
I I agree. Oh! That was a big mistake. Oh. That's why I call it high risk. Risk reward. You either you take the risk, you either get rewarded, or you crash and burn. And in the case of the world champion, he crashed. It. Oh my God! Oh, God. Hell, man, son. Jesus, you're welcome. Gets him back in the ring. He's the new world champion. CJ yeah. Wizard working on that, uh, working on that left leg. Has been for the last few minutes, actually. I mean, he hasn't been clotheslining him. Uh, oh! Dang, it's on the floor, right by the ramp. As AJ Minahan continues to count him. Yeah, he's trying to utilize that whole 20 cal. Oh! We got a bleed out! I, I was waiting for Eddie's little secondary part in there. We got a bleeder! There you go. <laughs> you almost disappointed me. Look, oh, the Rainmaker! The ra oh my, you got to be 18 cal. This is cutting it close. Oh, that's the greatest move of all time! The greatest move of all time on the floor by the great D! He needs to get back in the damn ring! 20! Never mind! 20 count! That's 20 count and they have broken the count it out! Jesus! Like that. This crowd here in Houston does not like it. No, they don't. I'm not sure if she's great team, but CJ Wizard like it. This girl is continuing. Yeah, they're apparently there. Oh my god! You're fucked again about a double count out. I think this has gone from being a title match to being personal real quick. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. it, has, it has escalated in a hurry. And now the world champion, a bloody mess, barely able to get to his feet. Oh, great, great D, count, I think I have a ring, attempted a rainmaker there. And now the great D, with the great DDT on the floor. Get him, D. I'll break his neck. Great D not taking this lane down. Taking it to CJ Wizard. Turning the table on CJ Wizard. You think Wizard expected this? You think he expected him to be the one that might be able to get hurt tonight? Probably not, but if he didn't before, I'm pretty sure he does now. Right. Chris wanna knock down. Okay, our great, our great world champion has, has decided that he is tired of giving fucks away when it comes to he's, this shit. He is taking matters into his own hands. He is indeed. Uh oh. Yeah, another one. Another, oh, oh my God! You hit the car. It was yeah, right, right here. Yeah. Oh, shit. Really? Hey, hey, Come on. Geez. Nigga, my dot, my, my ice tea, what are you doing? You need to your monitor out too. You can watch it oh. on there. Hey, that dude was the shit. Fuck what you talking about. <laughs> I'm personally a fool. Oh, shit. Dog, <laughs> no, seriously? Go, 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 Man, look. go, 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 go,
Even for the fact that I've got the splinter in my arm now. I mean, seriously. We're standing. Easy. Right through the table. Right. Well, what lays it? Let's look at this. Strong military serving the home of the quad. Thank you. Thank you. I love Thank you.